Julie Goldman. I am the founder and CEO of the Original Runner Company. I'm here today to present my business and request a $250,000 investment for a 15% stake in my company. I'm proud to say that I perfect life's grand entrances. And I do this because I've created the world's first non-slip fabric aisle runners for weddings and special events. When I was planning my wedding, I needed an aisle runner to cover the absolutely hideous carpeting in the ceremony venue. So I thought it would be really easy. I would just go down to my local store and pick up an aisle runner. But when I got there, it was actually more like going to a supermarket because my choices were either paper or plastic. Well, neither of these are really great options because if you're wearing stiletto heels, it's gonna tear, rip, bunch, and there go your wedding pictures. There's actually nothing else on the market that was safe and beautiful. I made my own owl runner and the original runner company was born. My very loyal wholesale and celebrity clientele has resulted in millions of dollars of my aisle runners being sold worldwide through my website alone. But that's gonna change today because I'm presenting to you the walk safe aisle runner. This is our 50 foot non-slip fabric aisle runner mass produced and sold in retail stores for the very first time and through thousands of online wedding websites. They're just plain white runners, which is the most popular aisle runner sold in the world. In addition, I'm introducing for the first time our home monogramming kit. This is gonna allow the do-it-yourself bride to create a monogrammed aisle runner just like this at home for a fraction of the price that I charge in my studio. We think these two new retail-based options will make my brand much more accessible and affordable to the more than two million brides that are married in the US alone each year. So if you invest with the original runner company, we're gonna make millions together. What's the talk? All right, I I love it. I love it. You know, finding uh, was it, uh, necessity is the mother of all invention, right? Having and going and saying I'm getting married and I can't find the thing that will help me accomplish what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna go and make it. Love it. Ding ding for that. Um, this was season back in season two. It was actually requested by one of our own in the super community. Uh, I thought I did all season two, but we're I'm gonna get get around to finishing up season two here soon. But anyway, I I I love this, uh, and hopefully, I assume she's got some massive sales. If you have a bunch of celebrities, you're probably charging a good amount. And I love that she's covered the. Uh, the do-it-yourself bride as well so that people that are do-it-yourself can go and, you know, have a really cool experience uh, for their wedding, you know, with the runner and hiding ugly carpeted or whatever uh, in their photos and, in, like, in the backgrounds of photos, obviously. Nobody's, like, taking uh, – well, I mean, some people – actually, if it's – you know, if you're uh, – if if your runner looks that great, maybe maybe there is some like detail shots that are being taken from like a low angle uh, with the runner in the picture that people might not have even thought to do uh, previous you know previously because it just doesn't it doesn't work. I mean I think we had a cloth runner for our wedding and it you know it bunched up and it was not it it it, it did the job but it wasn't it wasn't great. Uh, when you're when you're spending so much money on everything else, uh, adding a bit of uh, cost to something that you're going to walk down, everyone's going to see. No one might think about it, but they will think about it if you know it looks it looks like something that's special or it's made to be special. So I I definitely can appreciate this. I'm going to check out her uh, Julie's website at the end here, as well as a, a little update that I found uh, over at Shark Tank. All Shark Tank. It's all Shark Tank or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we'll all check that out as well as checking out shopsuperjoe.com where you can get your ABCs on. That's apparel, books, and courses over at shopsuperjoe.com. It helps support the channel and enables me to be able to continue to make more and more content for this channel, for the super community. Total sales for both businesses last year. Last year was a down economy, and we sold 550,000. Actually, right. before the recession hit, we were selling 800,000, and this year we'll finish about 650. You're a Ooh. great indicator of the recession coming back. No, I'm a great indicator of rebuilding my business last year by moving it out of New York City, cutting my rent by 80%, reformatting how I was paying my salary structures, and introducing three new lines of products. Hold on. Mr. Wonderful is awestruck. I love it. Great job, Julie. I, I really, I, I, I mean, I've watched this pitch a long time ago. I don't recall if she got a deal or not, but uh, she clearly knows what the heck she's talking about. My salary structures and introducing three new lines of products. What does that cost you to make? 
This is gonna cost me $25 to make. I'm gonna sell it to the retail store for $37.50, making a 52% profit on it. That's not the correct margin. Well, the margin on it is going to be 33% is the profit margin not on it. Not enough. Okay, it's not enough. Well, actually, it depends on the, where you're selling it. In stores like large craft stores, that margin is actually really common. It's much lower. No, that has nothing to do with our side of the business. You have to at least make a 60% margin on that, that. If we were to actually invest more and make more of them, we could drive the price down significantly. Is this proprietary? Something answers, answers, answers. See, now this is this is a like a classic example of somebody who knows their numbers, knows their industry, knows the, like knows what's going on. Now, I wonder. I mean, it would be great to have a, the actual answer. Like, okay, we're gonna go from twenty five dollars, and we can drive it down to like ten. All of a sudden, like now, now you got the uh, now you got my attention. You know, the shark's attention even more so. But I think. By knowing the numbers, and I hope. I hope. My hope is that it's not coming off as too know it all. I, 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 I'm really hoping that that the sharks don't see it that way. I, I mean, to me, that she's answering the questions. She's she's shooting straight and giving real answers. Special about that one you want to make over there? We make the only non-slip fabric runners in the world. And if you actually do not want to have paper or plastic, you have to go buy fabric, have it hemmed and made. Can your competitor make the same thing? I don't have any competitors that are doing that, no. So you're saying nobody else makes runners, but you... Not make non-slip fabric runners, no. The but only can commercial... they make non-slip if they wanted to? If they see you as doing something that's successful because you do or don't have a patent, can they make it? No, you can't patent fabric, just like you couldn't patent clothing and you made millions. I'm asking a very simple question. Can somebody else make a non-slip runner after they see that you are doing well? They could, but okay. I'm already doing well. I'm first that's in the field all, and very that's successful. That's all I'm asking. Oh man, that is. You know what's weird? What's weird about this this episode is it seems like there's a lot less music playing in the background. Uh, it's a lot of awkward silence uh, going going through. I, I mean, this is season two, so they were still trying to probably figure it all out. But yeah, that's uh, that 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 that. that that kind of sucks. Look, I mean, look, everything it, that you invest in isn't going to necessarily be, um, un, you know, patentable or protectable. And I think, you know, that's a lesson that the the sharks have to like learn. You know, we kind of see them learn through the seasons uh, that you know, just because it's not protectable doesn't mean you can't go and be successful at it. Look, I mean, we just did, uh, we just did the pota potato pot parcel the other day. Like somebody else could go and knock that off. Have they? I don't know. I, I haven't gone. I didn't pretend, you know, go and look that up. But what I can say is that they been were successful enough out of the gate to get you know Mr. Wonderful on board and spoiler alert, sorry, uh, and and go off to the races and expand their their brand in a lot of different ways. How is this business worth one point eight million dollars today? It's actually worth more than that. I love that answer. It's worth more. No, yeah, well, evaluation can actually be obviously determined in lots of different ways. You can do projected incomes. You could do current revenue. If you base it even on current revenue alone, if we're making $650,000 this year, if you're using a 3 to 5 ratio, it falls very nicely in the 1.8. Uh-huh. This this thing like, oh no! I I just I get the feeling that this is not that that it's coming off wrong. Like it's coming off wrong. She's got the answers, Julie. You're you're answering the questions. You're doing great. You you, you have a lot to be proud of. I, you know, I mean, maybe it's the editing that 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 the producers and the editors did, but it just feels like uh, the sharks are kind of not receptive to to the success of it and how much would it cost me for my wedding okay um so that's a higher end of our line this is a 75 foot runner it's hand painted and hand crystalled and hand glittered this one exactly as you see it here would be about 750. okay so that's after all of that cost what's your margin what did you make my margin on this is actually about 200 percent wow making 750 on this i'm paying about 250 to make it so i'm making about 500 dollars on it I'm confused. If people at weddings are spending seven hundred for custom, why a drop down to a sixty dollar product? It's a very good question. Truthfully, my current clients are spending fifty thousand or more on their weddings. Fifty thousand or more, but the average wedding is twenty seven thousand dollars, and they're not buying these eyeliners. They can't fit it in their budget. Yeah, I mean that's that is a big piece of it, right? Like weddings are expensive. Even if you like, we we've looked at doing. 
a back, you know, helping a couple of friends uh, with our backyard and saying, hey, like, if you you want to get married, like, we could do it. But even when we started to, like, figure out the costs, because uh, my brother-in-law got married in, in my um, in my mother-in-law's backyard, his mom's backyard, and that cost still, I think, was probably upwards of, I want to say at least 10 grand, like, it, you know, and that's for a backyard wedding. You know, you have a tent, you get uh, everything that once you start adding all the costs, it's still, I mean, doing a, a, a even a backyard wedding, like, I think the cheapest I, I figured was like, you could maybe get away with five grand, you know, on, on the, the absolute, and someone in the comments, maybe, you know, you have more experience or something with this, but, it, you know, weddings are expensive. I mean, I think ours was like, close to 30,000 plus thousand, you know, thousand thirty thousand 30,000 plus dollars back around the time in which this aired. So, so, uh, or well, uh, probably we got married probably after that, but it's still, still like it's, it's an expensive proposition and $750 is a significant chunk. That's all, you know, we figure we round up to a thousand dollars. That's one twenty seventh of the average price of a wedding at, at $27,000. Julie, what's great about a wedding is nobody cares about money. This is the time to hit them. <laughs> I don't want to give them a cheap runner. I want to get the $500 to $700 profit on every wedding when people aren't looking at what they're spending. You've got a fantastic business that makes phenomenal margins. You're capturing the high end. You want to go play in the toilet bowl wedding. I disagree. I would never consider any wedding to be a toilet bowl wedding, and I think my bride no, no, would be highly that's offended what he's by that comment. What he's saying is you dominate a category, and sometimes it's better to be the best in a niche than try to go out and compete with all other products. And so you're taking on risk for infrastructure, risk for internal management, and risk in this retail market. Why? It's how a lost much, how opportunity. Much? I'll tell you why, and I can answer that. I don't think it's an opportunity. Well, actually, I disagree, well, and her, I can explain her, why. Let her answer. Actually, most churches and synagogues no longer allow aisle runners because Ooh, the only ones they... New information! Wait, wait. Because they only have seen the paper and plastic ones. And what generally happens, my clients will request free swatches, which we send out around the world, and they take it there and we get permission. We're permitted in large cathedrals that don't allow any other aisle runners but mine. So why do you want to go, why why go retail? That's a beautiful thing. I disagree. But, but look, Julie, what, what you're saying is you have a website, you have all this exclusivity. All you have to do is tell the churches and synagogues, go to the website instead. Because the churches aren't buying them. The brides are buying them. The brides have to know they exist. Julie, and the fact I, is, in the internet, it's hard to get them to know well, we exist. But, but look, you want right. And, and, and the, probably the reason of that is the tile, right? Like, you you don't want people slipping and falling in the church and then, you know, lawsuit, uh, insurance claim, all that. To take on all this incremental risk. Lower margins because it's retail, right? And you're talking about 33% margins. Wait till the store start asking for incentives and everything. I, I'm like, if she can't see that herself, and Julie, no, you know why she can't that's see it? That's, 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 that's in the best of all situations. Well, here's how we we'll solve the problem. No, I'm just in Thank God. My gosh, you're worse than women. You know what? I don't think you need anybody here. You got to where you were on your own. I don't agree with your strategy. And for that reason, I'm out. You're missing the obvious, Julie. You want to have all these retailers taking responsibility for your products and selling them. They're not going to sell it nearly as well as you can. I'm out. That's a, okay. So now that, that is a fair point. Um, but it's not like just because she's sending it off to the retailer doesn't mean that she's not going to continue to market it. Look, you don't, you, you know, Pepsi doesn't send Pepsi to Walmart and say, okay, sell it all, make it happen. You know, they, they're investing in the, you know, in the marketing to get people to go and think, oh, I want that drink, right? I'm going to go and buy said drink. I, I, I don't, I don't think that it's bad. I think that, you know, Julie needs to get the cost down, right? Get that cost down to increase the margins, especially if we start talking about like returns, damaged goods, like all these factors that can kind of creep in and and start to eat away at that already at this point pretty small margin. Um, and I, to me, I want to see, I, you know, I, I would love to see that her, her get that cost down so that she can afford that. Now, 
the way that the the four male, <laughs> male sharks acted in this way, it just seemed so uh standoffish it doesn't like i i don't know she she's answering the questions and it's a shame that barbara doesn't uh didn't see the value in in enabling more people to have access to it look the person that's going to spend 750 dollars on a runner is not going to go to the store and and be like oh i could make it myself and pay like you know, 50, 60 bucks or something like it, 70 bucks, whatever, you know, 37 times two is right. $74. It's, they're not going to do that in most cases. Right. And she's making 200% to make them, but there's also lots of things that come along with that. And in her case, she got her call, you know, she went the opposite way to make profit margin already by reducing her costs, getting out of New York city, reducing rent, reducing all, like all these, these factors so that she could have a more profitable business out of the gate. I, I, I it's kind of dumbfounding that the, that they're just so, and now, and you know, the ironic part is Mr. Wonderful has Mr. Wonderful's wedding line that maybe didn't exist at this point in, in Shark Tank history. Okay. Julie, I would rather have a successful, profitable $2 million business than risk everything to maybe, maybe get to 4 or $5 million. I can't see the scaling into a large business. I'm out. Two words, I'm out. Four sharks are out. Kevin O'Leary is Julie's last chance to get a deal. Let's get down to business, all right? Thank goodness we've met. Here's why. You need me badly, you just don't know it. I'm gonna give you 250,000 for 51% of your business, that's control. You will not be able to do anything without calling me because I'm gonna keep you on the straight and narrow to make me money. But because you own 49%, you'll get rich. That's why they call me Mr. Wonderful. He's so appealing, isn't he? You need my guidance because you've gotten lost. I find that really interesting for you to say because I've been working in this business for seven years. I am known as the aisle guru and because I know what the heck I'm doing. Well, I, I know, know my business exactly and I have to say, Julie none of you know the industry. But I know how to make money. Look, Julie, you've met me the best day of your life other than when you got married, but we're going to get into a financial marriage and you're going to love me, believe me. Mm. Loving you already. <laughs> I'm going to keep you straight and narrow. You will never think about this again or ever do anything like that. You have to walk down the path of the high margin runner, not the toilet bowl wedding. I'm going to keep you out of that mess because I'm going to own 51% of the business. Yes or no? Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah, good. Good for you. As... You're out of your mind. Why? To be frank, I would never give up 51% of my business. You need to give up 51%. I actually don't. You need me badly. I took an idea that didn't exist. I made the world know it exists. I shipped to different countries every single day. I'm moving into Europe next year. I'm the Vera Wang of Isle Runners. I don't need 51% of my business being taken by someone who doesn't understand the wedding industry. I understand how to make money. That's all you have to care about. You just count her. I'm counting back at 15%. I'm looking for an investment, not a full invested partner. Your business wow. isn't worth $1.8 million. I think it is. All right. All right. It, you know, it, it maybe, maybe not, right? But it's definitely worth more than $500,000. That's, you know, that's not, that's not even realistic. That's, no, 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 no. And you know what? Good on you, Julie, for sticking up for yourself because that's, that is, and I, I wonder, like, if part of this is season two playing to the character of, you know, Mr. Wonderful a bit much and 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 all that. And maybe this maybe this was one of the last pitches that was seen for the day, because as we've we've heard, uh, you know, the sharks are not the nicest or the kindest or the, um, you know, the most willing to listen uh, and see outside the box. Uh, by the end of the day after doing like eight pitches before you turn around get out of here you too i couldn't get a word in with that woman 
I would never give her control. She would eat you up and spit you out without even thinking twice. I just turned down Kevin O'Leary's <laughs> offer because it was absolutely ridiculous. There was no way I was going to give up 51% control of my company for 250000 when my business is going to make $650,000 this year. The math didn't even make sense. Numbers don't lie. And Julie, uh, good on you. I'd love, love, love to have you come here on the show uh, to, to talk about your Shark Tank experience and uh, catch up on everything you've been doing. Now, according to... Uh, what was it? All Shark Tank products dot com. Uh, in 2020, Julie sold her business and now consults with small businesses. So I'm not sure. Uh, it, it, it doesn't have a link for for her like a personal website. But uh, so this is the site that is there currently. So I'm guessing somebody else has uh, taken it over. The world's first non-slip fabric runners. Uh, let's see, marshmallow white. We got. Uh, $165 for that. So I'm guessing she got her costs uh, down at some point uh, there because $165. So if you want a custom, does it talk about pricing for custom? Customize yours from $295. So I, I don't know what that includes at $295, hand-painted, glittery, crystal. Uh, so it, it's nice to say at least four weeks before. That's a pretty good turnaround time to, to – you know, six to eight weeks during our busy summer months. Order six months in advance for an early order discount. Uh, have a last minute order, no problem. Give us a call, and then they will have this button that doesn't go any. It's not a button. <laughs> it's just, it's just a capital call. Anyway, uh, it's good to see. And uh, yeah, again, I would love, love, love. Oh, they have celebrity clients too. Let's see. I probably couldn't tell you most of these. Oh well, Michael Jordan. Uh, Kevin Jonas, Isaiah Thomas, uh, Gucci Mane, <laughs> Kim Kardashian, Robert Hershevax. <laughs> so after all that, you, you ended up using the, the product anyway. Uh, that, that is, that is awesome to see Neil Diamond, Earl Thomas. Uh, that's, that's awesome. So let's see if we, uh, let's, let's go with Robert Hershevax here. If we go, so they have it maybe pinned on Pinterest or. Okay, it's just pictures from said weddings. But very cool. Just like getting comments down below. Like, uh, oh God, I, I, uh, Havaro? I hope I said it right. I, I feel like I should have known this already. Absolutely perfect recap channel with the Business Inside Scoop. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in one of these two videos right here. Take care and go be super.